But um, that's tough to do that for 10 hours a day. But please tell me his voice changes. Well, it's going to get much dirtier than this during the summer of VA. There's a scene with uh, Nodica in the hot tub that really grossed Leah Clark out when she heard, when she finally heard the, the recorded ending version of that. <laughs> you know what, the funny thing is my, my mom loves Negima. She thinks it's adorable. Um, but I also preface that with mom this is really creepy because most of the fans of the show, the show are grown men. Which <laughs> she is a little spooky. But um, I, I used to hate working on that show because it was such a task on my voice and there were so many complications like the Latin, you know, saying all the spells in Latin. Um, but the second time around, we had a lot of fun with it. We really enjoyed working on the show. And I think the second season, the negative one question mark, exclamation yeah. point, or exclamation point, question mark, um, was fun. And we had a lot of fun working on it. So um, I hope so. I know there's plenty more to come. So I've got, I got plenty of Akamatsu fan friends. So uh -huh. you know, there's, I know there's plenty coming. Next question, yes. Can I use what? No. <laughs> Can we use defenestration in the sentence? No, not no. a good try. <laughs> Next question. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, because the, ha the Hitachi brothers were my favorites. In fact, you can even ask Caitlin Glass. I didn't audition for any other character other than Kaoru. I didn't even audition for Hikaru. I only wanted to ever play Kaoru. I like those characters. They're my two favorites. But after watching the recorded the dub version, I love Honey. And it's kind of yes. effed up because <laughs> I love Honey in a very cute way. Like, aw, Honey. But it's because it's Lucy. And so Honey is no longer a boy to me. Like, Honey is a girl because it's Lucy's voice. Um, that being said, I think the best unsung hero performance in the show is Aaron Dismuke as Honey's younger brother. I think he's absolutely phenomenal in that role and really funny. But those two are my favorites. Um, plenty of people like Tamaki on Tamaki. <laughs> plenty of people like Mori on Mori. He doesn't even talk. Um, I like Kyoya. I think Kyoya is funny. Uh, yeah, I love all that. Um, and I think, I think um, <laughs> Haruki's mom slash dad doesn't get enough love either. <laughs> Honey adds a, a side of ridiculous comic relief that's needed in that show. Um, specifically, all the things about cake and just Honey mumbling and pouting, and Honey's just really cute. It's a really cute character, and Lucy just owns that character. She's amazing in that role. You know, he eats like a wedding cake three times a week. Yeah, big cake, big cake, and can't won't let anybody help him. Because he can do that. When you're that age, you can eat a lot of cake. When you get my age, not so much cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you say was your favorite role that you did not? Oh, great. What was your favorite role that you did not? Yeah. Really wanted, but didn't get for any reason else. Um, there was a role You don't get them all. That's part of the job. No. Nope. 
you hear no more than you hear yes. And the, and the funny thing is, there are a lot of there's a new breed of actors that get really sore and really bent out of shape when they don't get roles. And I want to tell them, I'm like, hey, that's part of this job. You don't get every role that you audition for. Yeah. Some roles you don't even audition for and you get them. So somebody's like, you're going to play this. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> that's my new show. I don't know. That's kind of good for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like show. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of a Thank you. Thank glad you. to be back. So glad to be here. Well, here's the thing, we don't watch unlicensed anime because it's illegal and it's what's killing our industry. That's why there's almost no industry. Point blank. Like, yeah. And we're pretty outspoken about that. Both of us. That's, that being said, um, Anime Network is showing the, uh, dubbed, I mean, the subtitled version of High School of the Dead, and that's a pretty awesomely cool show. Um, <laughs> there, there, is, there are a few shows that Funimation is showing subtitled right now that are really cool that I'd like to, I'd like to have my shot at. But yeah. um, there's, there's actually a show that uh, ADD has released subtitled. I don't know if it's going to be dubbed or not, but everyone at the studio knows that if it is the, if we're doing a dub and uh, and, and I'm not directing, I'm going to be pretty upset. Um, just because it, it's. It's right up my alley. It's, it's about theater training and training actors yeah. uh, for you know for theater. So it's kind of my background. Well, if there's a sequel, more than likely the actors will reprise their roles. Yeah. Um, it's and it's unfair. It's one of the reasons why um, I get a little twisted when people talk about say you re reload. Um, you really need to let an actor reprise the role, and it's not fair to fans to change the cast up halfway through the show. Yeah. So if there is a if there is a second season of Claymore, I'm sure all of the same people will have the roles, and that'll be cool. Except my character kids. Yes. <laughs> I played many care. I've played three characters in that show, and they're all dead. I just played one. So the nice thing about one character dying is you always may play another character later. Okay. We've got another question. Yes. Put a hand. But guess what? We didn't tag Paris Hilton. Tom Cruise wasn't oh. totally nuts. No, and my no. character, my Jewish character, specifically wants to take a shot at Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that we could really redo ghost stories every five to ten years, and it would still be funny every time we do it. Yeah. Because the whole process of ghost stories was telling a specific story while making fun of everything around us. And I think yeah. that would be a lot of fun. As far as what it was like to work on it, it was neat because so much of what we do is dictated to it. So when you're working on a show like Samurai 7, you can't stray from the text of the show one iota. Whereas Ghost Stories were able to tell pick up the exact same story while taking a shot at everybody and even each other. We were making fun of me and Chris Patton and Vic and Monica and David Williams. And, and it was all done in fun. And it's really one of the most interesting and fun projects I've ever worked on. I don't think I've ever had that much fun working on anything. Was it a lot like the random line that you guys I couldn't hear you. What? Was there like a lot of random line that people said that you guys had to skip Um, there were only a few things that we wouldn't do. Like I was given some Hurricane Katrina jokes that I wouldn't make because people died during Hurricane Katrina and it was too soon to make that joke. Um there was a joke about a dead celebrity that I wasn't okay with making. Um, but for the most part, if it was making fun of George Bush or a movie star or somebody that really, you know, should have thick skin anyway, didn't worry about it. Most of it was written by us, though. If you look at the credits, we are all credited as the script writers for the show because we were the ones making up all the horrible jokes. 